home, but I don't have my keys. Good morning, guys. I am out and about this morning. My mom has a doctor's appointment that I'm taking her to, so I took the day off. Usually on Wednesdays I go into the office, but I was like, well, if I have to take her to the doctor's appointment, then I'm probably, like there's no point in going into the office then for half a day or just a few hours. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take the, the day off. So I'm not too sure how the day is gonna go. I have, I usually have like these big ambitions when I have the day off, because I like to be productive. So I'm like, okay, I can take her there. Maybe we'll have lunch. Maybe I can take her grocery shopping or Costco. Maybe, you know, we'll do this or that. And then I'm thinking like, but then if I do all that, I'm not going to get home till later and later. And I actually want to do laundry and clean because we have a slumber party. We have a sleepover this weekend. So maybe I won't do all that. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see how the day goes and see how we're feeling. Um yeah power's home working right now kids are in school oh there's like a ice cream fundraiser tonight too power was like i'm sure the kids are gonna want to go so i'm not too sure if we're gonna make it out for that maybe we will we'll see how we're feeling um but yeah that's my day well that's gonna be my day it's a very gloomy overcast morning right now that's how it's been lately. Like once the heat wave was over in the morning, it's just so foggy and overcast. But then around the afternoon time, it kind of burns off and then it gets warm. That appointment took forever. It is prime lunchtime. So we're at, what is this called? Mr. Dragon Noodle House gonna grab some lunch and then I'm gonna take a grocery shopping before I head back this is basically my whole day I think <laughs> which is fine I mean I took the day off so and if I take her grocery shopping today then I don't have to take her on the weekend it's kind of good trade-off because we're gonna be busy with PJ's birthday and whatnot I just hope they have a table ready for us Dumplings that just came out. Got the vinegar and the chili sauce right here too. Food's coming out. We have popcorn chicken and a beef noodle soup. This is very flavorful, delicious. This is mainly for the kids. I'm not gonna finish that. Actually, Power's probably gonna eat it when I get home. We got more, one more beef roll here. Everything is delicious. I can't vlog while I eat. I need two hands. But the beef is very tender. Huh? She's picking up a lot of veggies. We're at a new market. I guess they have a lot of good deals on veggies and bitter melon. We also got these uh, Chinese eggplants. The eye doctor said she should eat more vegetables, dark leafy green vegetables. So that's why she picked up a lot of bok choy. I'm home, but I don't have my keys. Still can't find them. Power's on a call. I just texted him. He said he is on a call. So two minutes. I think I know where I left my keys, though. I think um, when we went bike riding, I had taken a backpack. And I think it's in there. So I'm going to go and check. But I brought back some leftovers for power. I bought some chicken bones because um, PJ's a little under the weather, so I was gonna make him some porridge. 
Well, I asked him if he wanted me to make it, and he said, yes, that would be nice. So, oh, there he is. There you are. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew it. In my, so after I was searching my mom's house, I was like, where could it be? And I started backtracking in my brain. And I was like, oh, I think I took it bike riding. I just had to use my brain for a second. So that's good. At least it's not lost. I would have had to pay $3 to replace my library card and however much it would cost to replace my house keys. All right, I'm gonna... Oh no, I gotta, I gotta make the porridge right now because it's already three o'clock. I've been out all day. It's already three o'clock. So let me get the porridge going and then I'll rest a little bit. Then I'll watch my Korean drama. <laughs> That's a lot of leftovers. We didn't really need to have the extras, but you know, we like to eat a lot and then take the rest home. The popcorn chicken was mainly what I wanted to take home for you actually but my mom was like oh the beef wraps are good maybe you guys well, I'll just take one of the beef wraps and then you guys take the rest that's what she said so this is just a package of chicken bones that I just bought um, for dirt cheap I don't know how much like in weight how much chicken bones that is but it was it only cost me like two dollars and sixty cents usually I would have some kind of chicken carcass or something some bones in the freezer but i used it all up when i had um a kanji party fundraising thing at work so i used up all my bones and i made pho last week as well so i used up the beef bones as well so anyway that's why i had to buy some bones um i'm gonna throw in a white onion so this onion right there i've got some ginger so a little bit of ginger in there too so I'm just gonna make the broth first. I'm gonna cook it in the instant pot for about, I mean, I got a little bit of time. I'll probably just make it, I'll probably cook it for about a, an hour. Kids are home, just got back from school. They of course are hungry. They're going for the leftovers. PJ said he was actually craving these beef wraps, right? So perfect timing. They're like, how come mom went to Mr. Dragon? Did Miss, uh, did your teacher tell you when your spelling test is going to be? I think it's next Wednesday. You got to start practicing your spelling words. And you got to practice your piano, okay? My porridge or kanji is just about done. I'm releasing the pressure. I've got some century eggs here, um, or aka thousand year old egg. They're not really actually a thousand year old. Um, AKA preserved duck eggs. I had bought it for that fundraiser I was talking to you about earlier. They are so stinky, <laughs> but they're delicious, especially in kanji. I'm just gonna chop it up and then hopefully this will be done soon. Also got some cilantro for garnish. I don't have green onions. Well, I do, but it's still growing right here um i didn't want to buy like a new bunch of green onions because they were expensive it was like 99 cents for one bunch so i said no thank you here it is give it a mix not my best work usually it's a lot whiter but i didn't parboil the bone so that's why there's like bits of blood i guess but there it is that's the kanji all right everything is ready i add a little bit of soy sauce i didn't put too much salt in it so put some soy sauce and a little bit of white pepper how is it good is it the good kind or the not so good kind it was good kind. We are at Walmart. Good, DJ's birthday is coming up. We did ask if we could pass out cupcakes. They said individually wrapped. So read it. What does it say? I don't know. Eight individually wrapped cakes. Ever since COVID, like everything has to be like factory sealed. But I feel like I wasn't even planning on doing this, so this is very last minute. 
Like, Fine. we don't even have a goodie bag or anything like that. It doesn't have to be a goodie bag. Just, it's just gonna be. We good. just, Annie and I just hope that they're actually individually wrapped and they're not double packed. Yeah, because I remember buying something, some kind of like cake before, and there was, it came two. I remember that before. And too. I was like, what the heck? Oh, 